Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and welcome to our second video on exponential expressions. In this video, we're going to look at how we can expand exponential expressions. So let's just dive right in and let's look at a couple of examples of expanding and what it means to expand an exponential expression. Let's go ahead and start off with the exponential expression y to the fifth power. So we see here that y is the base, 5 is the exponent, and we want to talk about what it means to expand. Now, what it means to expand is that all we want to do is show what it means to be y to the fifth power. When you think about expanding, what you're doing is, is you're kind of getting rid of the exponent. So if a question ever is posed, expand y to the fifth, all it wants you to do is it wants you to list out how many times you're actually multiplying y. Since it's y to the fifth power, we are going to show that y is multiplying itself five times. And that's it. That's all that expanding is. It's just showing how often are you multiplying that problem. Let's go ahead and look at another example. For this exponential expression, let's look at, we're going to have 2 times the quantity of 6x to the third power. So it looks like it's a little more than what we saw in the beginning, but again, our goal here is just to expand it out to show how many times we actually are multiplying. So I'm going to go ahead and write my equal sign here. Hopefully we can see here that 3 is my exponent and that my 6x here, that is the base. And I hope that it's clear that everything inside of the parentheses here is going to be multiplied 3 times. But do we see that the 2 out here, that's out in front, it's not inside the parentheses, so it's not going to be multiplied 3 separate times. So what I can do is I can just take the 2 and I can rewrite it knowing that I'm not going to have 2 times 2 times 2 because my 2 here did not have a 3 for the exponent. There is no exponent on 2, so I know that all I'm going to have is that 1, 2. Now, I see that I have 6x, and this 6x is being multiplied by itself 3 times. So now I get to write 6x three different times because that is the term, that's the base that had the exponent of 3. And that's it. That is how we expand that exponential expression. All right, let's do another one. For this next example, I'm going to look at the expression x squared, the quantity cubed. Now, we're seeing that we have kind of two exponents happening. I have the 2 here that's on the x. This is x squared or x to the second power. But that quantity of x squared is being cubed. So we're going to kind of take this in a multi-step direction. So here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the inside. Now the inside says x squared. Well, hopefully we remember that since there's a 2 here, that means I'm going to have 2x's multiplying itself, right? This is the x squared, and that is those 2x's that become the x squared. Now I still have the 3 out on top here. I haven't gotten rid of that 3. That 3 is now saying that I'm going to take this quantity of x times x, and we're going to multiply it by itself three times. So the final step that I have to do is I just need to rewrite x times x three times. And this is the final expanded form. We have shown that there are three sets. There are three sets here of the x squared. All right, let's do one more as our final example. Let's go ahead and look at the expression 3 
times m to the fourth power times n to the second power. Now again, we want to expand this out. Now again, we want to expand this out and we want to show what terms are multiplying and how often are we having this repeated multiplication. So again, I see that I have a three here. So I'm gonna write the three. Now what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna write it four times because this three here does not have that four as the exponent. If this was written like this, like our previous problems, then I would write three times three times three times three because the three would have the four for the exponent. But that's not what we're seeing here. What we're seeing here is it's just three and then it's multiplying m to the fourth. Now m to the fourth means that I need to write m multiplying four different times. Finally, we have n squared or n to the second power. That means I'll have n multiplying two times. That is what expanding exponential expressions is all about. We just want to write out the string of the terms, how often they're multiplying, so we can get rid of the exponents. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.